Thank you. That's all. I see you, Bob. Sorry, lady. Oh, this is Daddy's car. Please make a U-turn. We're safe. Please proceed to highlighted route. Calculating route. In 100 yards. Turn left. in the air, hanging out a cutlass supreme window like bitch come here. Girls cussing back at us with the fattest asses like Survive them Yeah we always over the way What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? So then, a bunch of hillbillies fighting progress and home cremating their mother. Well, what kind of... What, what are you, that's like being a corporate slut. Well, you don't know you are where you are. Well, really, life is a challenge. And if you could swallow you a magic arrived. pill every day and not worry about that challenge, wouldn't you? We all would. Some of us are. Take, for instance, our best-selling symptomatic postural tension reliever, Culminex. Life is stressful. Come on, big guy, I do some work or get out of here. We don't need jokers. Screw you! Screw you! Baby, when I look into your eyes, it means something. I see little Romans, I see little Mallorys, I see stars, I see angels. In my homeland, we have a saying. Yeah, we got one too. 
You're a fag. <laughs> Jesus, Roman, you fucking idiot. How can I take you seriously? Very difficult, I think. <laughs> Hello, Roman. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Mallory, this is my cousin I tell you about, Nico. Hi. Nico, this is Mallory, the beautiful girl I tell you about. See, not everything I tell you is bullshit. I bet most of it was. Hey. I hope you're less full of shit than your cousin over here. <laughs> Thank you. This is the woman that I'm going to marry. <laughs> Whatever you say. I thought you were going to marry me, <laughs> baby. Hey, but... <laughs> Great! You're fucking crazy, man! You should lose few pounds. Otherwise, this beautiful lady is going to lose. Uh, no, I'm a fat prick. What did I do? Hey, you uh, dance? I will, I will do, man. We spoke of this. No, we didn't speak. You spoke. Then you say your phone out of batteries. You treat me like a bitch! Never! I treat you like an idiot, not a bitch, huh? I guess it's true. The beautiful woman do like the guys with a funny sense of mm -hmm. humor. Ho <laughs> ho, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll get you the money. I know, and Roman, tell this fucking yokel here, if he doesn't stop staring at me, I'll have his head chopped off and put a film of it on the internet! Ouch. Ah, oh good, great. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Look, say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. Yes, he's all charm. Come on, Nico, let's go. Uh, darling, I, I, I'll see you later. I've got to take my cousin around some more. Get him settled. Nico, you're driving us to a hardware store on Dillon Street. Шавки в подворотнях бьются в истеричном лае Видно, чуют, скоро в бой пойдут подземные фаланги Нас без толку в дерьме добили Doing some home improvements, Roman You're going to build this mansion you tell me about? Oh, funny guy We're going to get money In America, you need money to do anything You're taking me to a backroom game Where I'll win all the dollars we need to really see this town Nightclub, women, titties You can play, right? Ты си добр, у ово игри? I am the best. I kick all the asses that play me. They call me the janitor. Because you can't pay your debts and they make you mop the floor? Never or what, no. Funny. No, I'm the janitor because I always clean up. I always win. Get it? Чистач, наравно. I seriously hope your cards are better than your nicknames. Only problem is I'm playing with some money I meant to give to these Albanian scumbags. Here's hoping they don't show up, eh? <laughs> we got loan sharks after us. Roman, stasse de shava. After me. And it doesn't matter anyway. When I've played this game, I'll have enough money to pay them back ten times. Only su slabiciu os fakum slotiu. But giving no further details, as a precautionary measure, police have shut down most of the major bridges in the Liberty City metropolitan area, resulting in major traffic problems and some stranded motorists scuffling with police. Mike Whiteley on the scene. Some local bleeding hearts are whining about freedoms and police brutality. One resident said after his scuffle with police, he's a changed man. Hey, have you ever had a nightstick up your ass? Well, I have, and it gives you a real clear mission on how to treat people in the future. By the Broker Bridge in the fish market, I'm Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Firearms News brought to you by Patriot Beer. Mayor Ochoa is launching a crackdown on the sale of illegal firearms. Maintaining a ban on the sale and possession of weapons in the city, he's also going after shops in other states that are providing illegal gun dealers with merchandise. Residents in South Bohan spoke out. Someone has to stop these inbred rednecks from flooding our city with illegal weapons. You hear me, rednecks? Allison Mayberry, Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Community Radio для восточных европейцев Liberty City. Владивосток FM. You should probably kill yourself. It's all over if you fall down and break a hip. Don't burden society or my bonus because you fell down. We mustn't become a nation of hypochondriacs.
because you have insurance, why use it? Why should we pay just because we said we would? Because you said you would. What do you matter anyway? As a nation, we have to move forward, and we are obsessing about our health care system. I mean, come on! America fucking rules. We've got to conquer space and fight the war on terror, and you people are worrying about a stiff hip? Please die. Hey, did you know on the space station they have to drink their own piss? I, you know, I can't understand. Come on, what, what is wrong with that? That's an interesting thing Sick to say. I'm talking about pussy. interesting. I'm All you that. people want to talk yeah, about cool. is cool. money and co-payments and stuff. And I, I just talked about swilling piss. Disgusting. Steaming piss. Well, what is wrong with you people, man? No wonder you get sick. So pent up. Y'all need a good enema, or you or you might explode. That's another thing we haven't talked about. Ever, Ryan, we ain't talked about. Why, why, why? why is everyone staring at me? I'm going to bring this back to topic. Uh, you know, speaking of foreign countries, we really need to step up the war on drugs in this country. Now, that's a good point. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm talking about these criminals, these geezer criminals who smuggle drugs over the border so people can get them at a cheap rate and not pay a fair market price that we control. Hard medication, my ass. Well, uh, Sheila, a, a lot of people can't afford your drugs through the conventional channels, and they're forced to buy them on the black market. Well, Boo-hoo! Boo-hoo! pickup trucks or food. We have pills that can save your life and you're whining about the cost? It makes me want to throw up. People have to take responsibility. I mean, just the other day, this woman began to freak out in front of me and clutch her chest. So I did the responsible thing. I walked away. Yes, I work in the health industry. Yes, I had a purse full of life-saving heart drug samples, but I did not know if this woman had insurance. I did not know if she was going to sue me. So I did the responsible thing, and I left it to the professionals. Wow, did you even call 911? I left that to the professionals as well. Well, uh, what happened to this poor woman? Well, she died, but she learned a very valuable lesson. First off, you wouldn't be having a heart attack in the street if you had gone to the doctor the day before and requested a prescription for a pill you saw on a TV commercial but don't know what it does. What it does is irrelevant. Ask your doctor for it. My mother, my mother had a great home remedy, home from the home, for heart problems. A few ordinary household items. You'll find them under the seat. Nico, wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. Shit, uh, I almost forgot. I'm giving you my old phone. My new number's in there. Call me if some Albanian show up in some shitty beige willet. Those are the guys I owe money to. Do, do not hurt them. I know what you're like, Nico Bellic. You and your debts, Roman. Uve kisto, Nika drugacie. Why are the people paying more for health care than any other country? What do you want us to do? Go out of business? Listen, it's easy. Invest. Then when our share prices go up because of the, uh, listen to this bit, responsible way. Yes, responsible way we have run our business, including sensible maintaining of lots of friends on Capitol Hill. You'll see the upside. And you want to complain because we're doing so well? What's your problem? You're still alive to moan and groan about how horrible our health care is. Exactly. Pharmaceutical company profits aren't the problem. They're the solution. We need that money to fly doctors to golf retreats in the Caribbean. Oh, man. We are literally saving communities out it's there. It's so quiet out here, Roman. You winning? Molintere tzida. Don't worry. I'm getting so many bullets, it's like I'm an AK. Miss McCool. All because of the money that has moved into health care. Do you know how much a lab monkey costs? And you end up stoning them to the tits on exciting new breakthroughs in medical science so much that they drop like flies left and right from the sheer joy. Progress ain't cheap, and you worry about costs? Leeches cure erectile dysfunction? I, I, I use them all the time. Okay, another good point. By and Mr. this Mr. must be the loan sharks. I think that belly is in the store. We'll get our money. To cover everything as long as you reach your ten thousand dollar deductible isn't that great we cover all the expenses after you've spent ten thousand dollars we are saving you money <coughs> sorry <coughs> i guess your pills ain't working lady well you know cousin two guys are going in the store i think they are the loan sharks you speak of shit i'm down you better get out of there all right all right i'm coming 
shit, Nico, it's them. They must have been told I was here. You're in much trouble, Bellic! Please don't hurt the men after us, cousin. They hate me enough as it is. Get us back to the depot, quick! Now lose them. Sadanie Taco Tesco. Just like the old days, eh? In the old days, we were dodging bombs, not loan sharks. Just drive. Leave the funny comments to me. following us. Clearly they are too scared of what I could do to them. Do you think they saw me? Of course they saw you. I mean, you're a distinctive man, Roman. That is why the ladies love me. Fuck those Shylocks, they'll get their money. They just have to wait. We should stand up to them. Gideti e ponus. Nico, you're new. You don't understand the way things work. Oh yeah? We are at the bottom of the ladder, man. These thugs push us around, but they are not to be feared. It is the Russian mobsters, Vlad's bosses, that run everything. Be careful of them. You tell me to behave, Mr. Janitor? If you understand it all, where is the money? I lost it this time, but when I go back, the last thing they will expect is for me to take everything. Then I really will clean up. Poverevacu, God vidi, Roman. Person. You ain't no good person. You ain't even a person, man. I've got some free samples. We're here. Oh, you like your phone? Maybe one day you get a premium quality one like mine. Then you will have really made it. I can only wish. See you later, cousin. For fun on shit. No. I think had enough. If it's you're the yard. insurance guy, one of you gets drilled, I ain't taking no for an edge. Please leave me out of this. She's the one with the headache. I respect alternative therapies. They give false hope. Yo, Are you kidding? Go, I'm gonna drill the smugness out. right out of your That's third good. eye. Hey, Impossible. Drill him. He's, he's let yeah. kids die. He refused a little girl a liver transplant. Nonsense. Oh, right. You're the one. You're the one. risky to save. Nonsense. She was too risky to save. Risky for third quarter Too early. risky to save. Real her. She kept AIDS drugs out of the hands of poor people no, so that her CEO you. could buy a plane. No, that's uh, a lie! Uh, no, that's a lie! It was a boat, not a plane. It's a planes, boat. boats, corporations, oh, boat 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 I'm drilling you so the stark smoke comes floating out of your skull uh, and the demons that have been controlling your life comes out of your skull. You think I'm messing around? You're not, I, I know you're not messing around. I tell you what, Mr. Mason, just drill them both, please, please. But just hurry up, because that's about all the time we have for folks this week on The Pacemaker. Don't drill it. No! Hey, that's enough. Whoa! Oh, that's a geyser! I have a geyser Yeah, geyser, more than a geyser. all! And now, for the seance. Hello, my name is Beatrix Fontaine from Hungary. In a past life, we were lovers, but then you already knew that, yes? Welcome to the saints. Believe, it's real. Everything you know is a lie, and the things you don't know are all true. Confused? Confused? Ladies, this is Roman Bellic, but I guess you already know that. Leave a message. I want you to be honest with yourself, just yourself and me. Was there ever a time you really wanted something and it didn't work out quite as you imagined? Or have you ever been in a relationship or professional situation that did not work out perfectly? Or possibly a feeling in your stomach that something is about to go wrong, and then it does. I know what you're wondering. How does she know all these things about me? Well, the fact is, I have gift. A gift I learned roaming the streets of Eastern Europe, having lots of kids, and earning money by dancing and playing the violin. You see, I can divine the magical powers of the stars, and numbers like pi, read the wind and the tides to tell the future. I know skeptics. Come on, Daddy, what's your problem? I don't have problem. You do. Don't be a dick, man. Come on! Hey, 
Where's your Russian friend now, eh? He's not my friend, he's uh, my lord, shark! Uh, Stop this! Uh, Who are you? Get out of here. What? Yes. Oh. Ah. 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 My oh. What about you? Help me. Help me. Oh, Come on, Supak. Leather, help me. Get out of here now. And if you come back, I'll kill you. You understand? You forgot this? You have been in pricks? Strong. Shit, Nico. What did you do? He was going to stab me. Now he's going to kill you. Fuck him. Look at this mess. Screwed. Again. You want to know why I'm not <sighs> living in a nice condo, banging for women? It's because of shit like this. Assholes threatening Shut me. Shut up. Oh, great. Mallory. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, great! <laughs> uh, listen, I I'm having a bit of a problem at the office. Um, I can't do it. Nico can do it. Huh? Um, what? Well, why would you want me then? But, uh, well, screw you then! Great girl. Can you do me a favor? Mallory uh, needs a lift. Uh, can you go pick her up at the Hove Beach subway station? Yeah. Take the cab! She's got a friend with her. Maybe someone you can date. Fuck you. Oh, man, look at this crap. My computer and everything.